Welcome back to Midday. Joined by David Toms in the kitchen from Terra Restaurants. Great to have you back on the show. Thank you so much. Yes. Now, for the last four years, we've been seeing this great event called Farm, Farm to Chefs. You guys have been involved since the beginning. That's right. So yeah. how would you best describe what this uh, evening event is all about? <sighs> Eating, drinking, debauchery. No, uh, debauchery. music. Debauchery. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Mm -hmm. It's a great time. And it's a great opportunity to come out and kind of sample um, fare from local wineries and cideries and breweries as well as restaurants. So there's, uh, there's a nice mix of eating and drinking and um, it's a great way too to support um, the Farm to Chef organization. All right, so it's all so. about local ranching, local farming, local dairy probably, local yeah. drinks. Uh, um, is there a cutoff as to how far you, you can be to be involved in this in terms of square kilometers? Uh, or? No, not really. No. Not really. I mean within the region obviously but um, you know, from where we started four years ago mm -hmm. to now, it's it's just expanded. And so we're seeing so many new uh, participants. I mean, we have wineries now. We didn't have wineries before. We have cideries. We didn't have those before. Um, more breweries on board and, and uh, people getting involved on that side. And more restaurants and more farms. So it's just grown over the four years. It's mm -hmm. been a really great uh, great experience. Excellent. Yeah. And the setting is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. It's out on Shushwak Road at SSOL Gardens. Now, I haven't heard of that name before, but I think there's been a name change. It was called Sun River Organics. That's right. Uh, and it provides a beautiful setting out by the river. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Soul Gardens is just a fantastic place. We we did the first um, first couple of events at Thistle Farm and Westside. Last year we did uh, did it at uh, Soul Gardens. Oh, it's called Soul Gardens. So That's I have right. the name wrong. Yeah, it's okay. It was That's nice cool. of you to not mention no, that. No, it's all I just good. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a beautiful venue, mm -hmm. really nice. So today we're going to be preparing something that I'm uh, uh, imagining is going to be served at this event? No, not at all. Oh. No. Okay then. Why would we do that? Well, because it made sense to me at the time. <laughs> but we can do anything no. here. What are we uh, making today? Um, you know, I, I was at Farmer's Market yesterday nice. and I found three vendors had three different kinds of beets in various stages of growth. And I thought, well, let's put them all together and we'll use them. Mm -hmm. And it kind of replicates um, a dish that we have on the menu this month. Okay, so let's hear about this. We've got okay. the beautiful beets. And the, are, are those sure. a form of a beet right there? Those, those are ones? little baby uh, golden beets really? that we've pickled. Delish. Yeah. So I'm going to lay down a little base here. So this is a, um, a sunflower puree with dill and chive. And I'm just going to put a little smear of that on the plate. I'm going to do some painting, indulge my inner Picasso. Oh, please do. I like this. Um, Take it away. And uh, this is just a little beet gastrique. So uh, a mix of, um, of vinegar and beet juice and a little bit of sugar. And then we're just going to lay some beets in. So I've got um, some little baby red beets here that I'm dressing with um, just a little sherry vinaigrette. And we've, uh, we've left some antenna intact, just for fun. Do you call this the antenna? Well, I'm calling it the antenna it, it now. It looks like the antenna. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll lay these guys down. And then we'll take the purple off. And we'll do some of these golden beads. And then into the vinaigrette that I have here, I've got some beet tops, some little golden ones. Uh, there's actually some micro kale here. And we'll just toss that quickly. I'm having an author on next month, uh, and her book is all about eating kale and the health benefits of kale. I'm down. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be excellent for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I eat it a lot, probably not as much as some people, but it's very good for you. One of the, um, one of the principles of Soul Gardens likes to use the term nutritionally dense. Food. I like it, and mm -hmm. and I do too. And it's it, you know it speaks a lot about um, fresh food, local food, organic food, uh, food not derived from GMOs, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it makes a whole lot of sense if you think about it. I'm just finishing with some berries because berries are certainly in season, and I've got some beet chips. We just fried up this morning. Beet chips, delicious. Yeah. How healthy. Fantastic. Nibble? I wouldn't mind. Thank you. Cheers. Isn't that great? Those are delicious. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've made a little beet salad. There we go. It's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. this is new on the menu. This is to celebrate all things local and fresh and organic yeah. and gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the fact, we have two minutes left. Sure. Um, about the fact that our farmer's market it just gives you so many options now. Like there's no reason to not support local. Yeah, fantastic choices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a tough time leaving. Is that right? Well, I get down there and 
you know, I know some of the vendors, and so we want to chat and catch up and see what's going on. And then I've got to kind of buy some things for the restaurant. Right. <laughs> and so I could spend three or four hours there yeah. easily, just kind of going from vendor to vendor and walking around the artisan stalls up on the uh, on the upper level. On Saturdays, I'm referring to. Right. Wednesday's a little more uh, streamlined kind yes. of event. So yes. It's a little easier, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to get out of there on it Saturdays. It is, and it's very busy, and it's getting busier, and yeah. I celebrate that, of course. Yeah. Uh, details quickly, though, for Farm to Chefs. If people, Farm to Chefs, if people want to get tickets, what's the best way to go about that? Brownpapertickets.com, search for Farm to Chefs. Um, easy to do online. And uh, failing that, if you want to buy tickets, you can do so at either of the farmer's markets on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. Okay, and this is coming up at Soul Gardens, July 27th, River Setting, beautiful. All right, David, it's always a pleasure to have you on. Thank, Thank you. you for making this beautiful salad. No worries. All right, we are going to take a quick break.